Hey guys, I just woke up and it's currently almost 12 a.m. I mean p.m. at that point, but I was up all night yesterday packing orders till like 4 a.m., maybe even 5. So I'm running on some crackers and no sleep. So we are gonna just wash up and then we're gonna go drop off orders and we're gonna get on with the rest of the day. So this is the aftermath of yesterday's live. I got some orders here and I also got some orders that came in um, separately from live. So I have to pack those and there's quite a bit of those too. And we're going to go to the post office and then we're going to go get me some matcha. Because I ran out of my own matcha and Amazon hasn't shipped my new portion yet. So I must have to go buy matcha separately. And uh, yeah, but for now let's do a little bit of makeup because I look like a freaking zombie. I'm not like very big makeup girly when it comes to like knowing how to do makeup. I just do what I feel like is right. <laughs> I'm not very good at it, as I said. And yes, I use fingers to put my makeup on because I don't know, those sponges, I just, I'm just not a fan. I just don't like them. Most foundation or whatever this is, what foundation goes on my nose because my nose is usually the weirdest color from the rest of my face doesn't match the rest of my face well now it kind of does but normally it doesn't so okay here that is and um I'm gonna do a little bit of eyebrows and some mascara and that's it that is literally it That is literally it. I know I still look like a little bit of a zombie. I probably should have added some blush, but this is gonna have to suffice because we have to take care of all this. Okay, this stuff is extremely heavy, but we can do this, we can do this. Let's go. You guys wanna hear something funny? So I just put all of my stuff in my trunk, right? All of my orders. And then I walk around to the passenger seat. I open the door, sit in the passenger seat. And I was sitting there, I, I like started, I opened my phone, started looking TikToks, and I did that for like solid five minutes. I did that for solid five minutes. And only then I realized that I'm the one who's driving. <laughs> I, I just like that's how you know I am sleep deprived because I sat there for five minutes probably or even more on my TikTok just watching videos completely got lost in TikTok and only then I thought okay yeah I, I'm the one who's driving like who am I waiting for right now <laughs> so yeah but it's okay we are back up and running and I am going to post office right now as I said and we're also gonna go to Wawa's gas station and get me my matcha so <clears throat> because I, with my amount of sleep, I will not be able to do anything. And I don't drink coffee. I personally hate coffee. The taste of it, I just cannot do it. Like, doesn't matter what, how much sugar you add to it, how much creamer, what, what do you add to it, doesn't matter. Just that aftertaste the coffee has in my mouth is just so bitter and I, I, cannot, I cannot deal with it. Like, why would I make myself drink something I absolutely dislike? So, so yeah. We're gonna get me some matcha, we're gonna come back home, and I have a lot, a lot of work to do. Uh, I have to, ow. I have to call my dad. What is this car doing? I have to call my dad, and we're both gonna look at tickets for me to go visit him and my family overall to Ukraine. So I'm gonna have to look at some flights to go to Germany, and just, just some things that I need to take with me, and I also need to hit up a company that owes me money for a branded deal we did together like we did the deal like almost two months ago and I'm yet to see my money so <clears throat> so yeah I'm gonna hit them up about that 
Uh, I also need to pay, buy some more shipping supplies because yeah, I'm really, really low on bubble mailers and I'm really low on medium-sized boxes and just things like that. So, so yeah, I have a lot of computer work to do. So that's what we're gonna do after. I'm probably gonna go to Starbucks at some point today, but I'm gonna come home and have an actual meal because it's already almost 1 p.m. and I haven't eaten since 9 p.m. yesterday. And considering I'm also, I also was awake till 5 a.m., you, you can imagine how hungry I am. So, so yeah, let me just quickly though drop off things at the post office. Instead, I just went to Publix and got myself matcha that I'm gonna make myself because it's cheaper that way. So yeah, I'm gonna do it that way. Just make one myself at home because I do have milk at home, so yeah. Okay, so I just dropped everything off at the post office. Here is all of my empty bags and my matcha is right there. And we're gonna make myself some matcha before I absolutely completely just die. <laughs> so I just had a thought because if I'm gonna make myself matcha at home and then I plan on going to Starbucks to do some computer work or laptop work, um, it's not gonna add up because I don't need two coffee drinks or two caffeinated drinks in my day and uh, we're just gonna get myself some matcha at Starbucks instead of at home but I am going to eat at home I'm going to make myself a meal and we're gonna go to Starbucks to get some work done I am feeling a little bit sleepy already because as I said earlier I slept barely and um, I'm already starting to feel it, but it's, I'm not going to be able to sleep and I know that because my body kind of already used to waking up like at around 11, 12 in the morning and there's no way I'm going to be able to go to sleep like two hours later after I wake up. Like there's no way. I know my body already. So the only time I will be able to sleep is at some, like at 4 p.m. somewhere there at that point somewhere. And now we're just going to go to the back to the house, get some food, and it's probably going to give me some energy so I'm not that sleepy. And then we're going to go to Starbucks to get some work done. And I'm not a big fan of Starbucks. I don't, I don't go to Starbucks or Dunkin' or any place like that because I don't drink coffee. But um, Starbucks is the only place that's around that I can go to and do some laptop work and actually be able to charge it at the same time. Like, like there's the, that's the only place that has plugs in the walls around where I live. And um, I cannot work at home because I get easily distracted and I know I won't get anything done or if I do get something done, it's probably gonna be all the way at midnight. And I need to get it done like right now. I need to start figuring things out now. So we're gonna go to Starbucks, quickly focus and get things done. And then I also plan to work out today at some point. I need to hit the gym up for actual workout for arm and legs, for arms and legs. And um, I'm also do, gonna do a little bit of a hit workout when I'm back at home. So today's gonna be a long day as for somebody who's got barely any sleep. But we have to get it done. See you guys, I'll see you back in the house. Peace. Hey guys, I just got home and I got myself some potatoes over here and I do have a little bit of sausage left that I made the other day with mushrooms and garlic. So we're just gonna have that in there. And that is gonna be my food. I will add some cucumbers and some other veggies and stuff like that. And we're gonna eat because your girl is starving and I'm starting to feel this lack of energy on my body. So yeah, we're gonna eat real quick. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you real quick how I make my matcha. And the process is pretty simple. Just grab your thing of milk. Yes, I make my matcha with milk. I don't like I don't like it with water. It's just too bitter. Usually I only use half, half of these packets, but today I'm gonna use the full thing because your girl needs energy. So I'm gonna use this one full thing. Just a little bit of milk, and we're gonna microwave this for like 30 seconds. So 
I just microwave this amount of matcha, as you can see, it's like kind of starting to melt. I'm just gonna grab the straw that I'm going to use or whatever you wanna mix it with and just mix it real nice so it completely dissolves. So matcha completely dissolves in your milk. And check the bottom as well. Okay. Just gonna keep on stirring till my matcha dissolves in there. And when you see it's mm, when you see it's mostly dissolved, you just add your milk. And voila! I don't like ice with my matcha because milk is already cold. So I don't really need it to be freezing or anything like that. So just this, as it is, is already great because this matcha, I just noticed, this matcha is sweetened. So me adding honey or anything like that would be very unnecessary. Mm. Oh my God, delish. Okay, so here's my food, some roasted potatoes, some sausage, a little bit of olives, and some peas. From the planet that I'm from, we eat hot sauce with everything. We basically have hot sauce with the side, with the side of food, <laughs> if you know what I mean. And of course, my matcha. So, oop, there's some on the side right there. But it's okay, I'll get it. So yeah, I'm going to quickly eat, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see from there. For some reason, I wasn't talking in this part, which means I wasn't explaining what I was doing here. I was starting to do some work at this point after I had my food, and I was just trying to restock some inventory. Specifically, I needed some medium-sized boxes for these containers. And uh, the boxes I was getting before, they were not really the best option. First of all, they're not really cheap boxes because they're a very odd size for these types of containers. And I also need a box that would be able to fit all four of them in case somebody buys all four of them at a time. And I didn't need boxes that would, I didn't have boxes that would fit that, that it would be in a good price range. So I was trying to measure up those boxes to see if I could work something out on Amazon or something like that. Find the boxes that would work, I mean. And here I was just doing a lot, a lot of computer work. I was or ordering inventory. I was replying to emails, doing some customer service, upgrading some new, updating some new listings for the products, checking out the website, doing just all the computer work I could possibly do for the business. And also I ordered some new inventory. So yeah, that's going to be coming in a month. And I spend majority of my day doing that. I spend probably at least four or five hours doing this. Of course, I took some breaks here and there. I didn't film it. But yeah, I was just doing this most of the day. Hey, so my friend invited me to go out to have some pho. So this is my outfit. And uh, I did a little bit of a makeup because she always looks so pretty. And I feel bad when I don't look pretty when I'm with her because I'm kind of making her feel... I'm kind of probably making her look bad by how ugly I am when I'm with her. So I figured I'd put a little bit of makeup on and yeah, so we're gonna head out. So we just ate and I have a little bit of fall left over and I'm on my way home. So yeah, I'll see you guys at home. So I just got home and I quickly changed. So we are about to do a little workout. I have this whole big ass slab of concrete in my backyard and the only thing i use it for is for my rosemary plant and for working out so we're gonna do that real quick and then we're gonna do a little bit more work so i did a little bit of workout my face is all it's all red you can barely see any sweat up there, but there is some. And we're gonna go take a shower and uh, wash off all this makeup. I'm not gonna go live tonight on TikTok. I'm just gonna edit some YouTube videos and things like that and film some content for TikTok instead of going live. And, and yeah, so let's go take a shower.
Okay, I'm gonna make me some homemade yogurt right now. I mean, homemade ice cream, and I'm gonna make myself raspberry frozen yogurt. I have everything I need for it, so let's just put it all in this blender cup. I'm gonna need 10 fresh raspberries, but there's no way I'm just gonna use a 10 fresh raspberries. I'm gonna use definitely a little bit more than that, so boom, boom. This one is, ew. This one has something on the inside, so no thanks. This is fine, this, this. And I kind of rinsed them off in that, in this same package that they're in right now. We just drained the water. And they've been sitting like that. And they look fine. They don't look like they are having any kind of issues with them. So, besides the ones that are going bad. Okay, this is definitely a little more than 10 raspberries. So, that is fine because I like raspberries. It's also calling for um, natural yogurt. So, let's get some of that. I'm gonna use a little bit of heavy cream. Okay. And for the rest, I'm going to use yogurt. It's calling for one third of a cup of natural yogurt. But this girl is just gonna eyeball it because we don't we don't do no measuring measuring here. We just do the thing. We just do the thing as is. Alright, I think that's that's good enough. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. That's pretty good. Okay. And it's calling for uh, three tablespoons of sugar. And I'm also definitely not doing that either. We're just going to do some of this natural agave syrup from Costco. And I'm just going to quickly blend this up and then we're going to put it in a ice cream thingy. Okay, so I just blended up this mixture of raspberries and yogurt. Perfect. And now, and now I'm just going to transfer it all in this ice cream bowl. If only I could find a spatula. Here we go. So this is like a frozen ice cream bowl. You have to keep it in the freezer for at least 10 hours. And I'm just gonna now transfer this whole thing in this ice cream bowl. Perf. Okay. And now, mm, you know what? I could even eat it like that. Mm. We already determined to make ice cream out of this. So all you need is the topper. I mean, you obviously need the ice cream maker. I think it's only like 20 bucks on Amazon. And I will try my best to include the link in the description. And uh, you just have to connect the topper with this thing. If only you would. Here we go. And then the lid has to slide in. And you turn it on right there. Plug it in. I mean, you have to plug it in first. Okay, so for ideal ice cream consistency, you have to do it for at least 20 minutes. But I am too impatient. We are not going to get to wait 20 minutes for this. We're just gonna eat it as is, and honestly, it's ready. It's still a little bit on the softer side, but it's, it's really almost there. I'm gonna lick this thing later. But I'm, for now, I'm just trying to get everything out of here. So basically, I'm gonna scrape everything out of here, rinse it out, and put it, put it back in the freezer. And tomorrow, I can eat ice cream again if I want to. 
And here it is, perfect homemade ice cream. It tastes exactly like frozen raspberry yogurt, like no joke. You can use any fruit and, uh, and yeah, if you guys are more interested, just leave me a comment and I'll show you what this machine is and where to buy it and I'll show you some recipes. Well, usually most of these machines come with a little book that has recipes in it, but this is a, such a great alternative to, a, to an actual ice cream without having to worry about calories because this is probably, this whole entire bowl probably like, I don't know, maybe 40 calories or 50, something like that. Hey guys, it's currently almost 11 p.m. and I'm about to go to bed. And But before I do that, I'm gonna burn one of these aromatherapy th scented, sticks i don't really go to bed this early normally i don't even go to bed till like at least probably 2 or 3 a.m but i i was live yesterday on tiktok till 4 a.m and then i was packaging orders so i am exhausted today so i'm just gonna go to bed early today and we're gonna have one of these aroma sticks burning over here I think it's not actually supposed to be like on fire. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be like burning on the burning like this with no actual fire on there. So yeah, I'm gonna have it going and I'm just gonna watch a couple of TikToks and go to sleep. So yeah guys, I'll see you in the next video.